Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C, aka The Low Hounds, and welcome to another episode of my Escape from Gold. This could potentially be the final episode. Last episode, I made it into my Platinum Promos for the second time time last time i made it into my promos i got absolutely smashed zero and three hopefully this time it is a lot better so ladies and gentlemen strap yourselves in and let's do this so as always i got tal on top and i'm going to be up against top lane garen the trades were pretty even in the early stages however as the game wore on garen started to get the better of the trades and then eventually in the 10th minute, Garen went all in, so I had to use my ultimate to escape. Laning phase was getting tough and my bot lane was struggling, so I looked to give them some help as Twitch went down thanks to Talia. And I was chasing down Soraka, where I eventually got the kill. Oh, wait, never mind. Moments later, I was running away from Jax. Jax was super, super fed as he continued to get kills, taking down our Talia. I tried to burst him down, but it was not going to happen, and he got a double kill. This game was very difficult, and we were even getting smashed, even though we were fighting 5v3 situations. I couldn't even kill the Corky. Oh boy. In the 22nd minute, my teammates were getting dived in their base and Jax was continuing to pick up a lot of kills. We eventually killed him in the 25th minute, but our whole base was now gone. And finally, in the 26th minute, we lost the game. It seems like my promos are cursed. In my next game, I was up against a Maokai top. I managed to force Maokai to back and then he TP'd back to lane. However, Hecram was on his way for a gank. This would be absolutely perfect if we managed to kill him now. But he had a lot of minions and I went down. But we also blew his flash. I was happy to take that, and then in the 6th minute, Malchai thought he could kill me, but it was just not going to happen as Talon's burst damage was a little bit too much, and I used my E to dodge any more damage. And then following in the 8th minute, Hecram was here for another gank, and Malchai tried to run away, but it was not going to happen as I picked up my second kill. I was then looking to roam, couldn't find anyone to kill, so instead I just helped Molzahar take this tower. He didn't really need my help, but on the way top, Maokai, he was sleeping, didn't even notice that he was walking into both of us as we picked him off again. And then in the 16th minute, Malzahar this time roamed towards the top lane and we killed Maokai again. Things were going pretty well for the top lane and the mid lane, so I decided to also help the bot lane. But Jax was here for a counter gank, but I managed to burst down Miss Fortune. And then Jax had to run away. Could he get away? No, he can't. As we picked up two more kills and also got the tower, which also led to us getting the Rift Herald. Things were looking very good so far. However, in the 20th minute, I jumped in with my ultimate, but the Tarek ultimate blocked all my damage. It was now a 4v4 between the two teams around the Dragon Pit. Who's going to come out on top? As Hecra managed to pick up a double kill, Ash also picked up a double kill, and my team was clutch. Please, please, please carry me, team, as this also led to them getting the Baron. Maokai was a little bit late to the party to try and stop this Baron as he just gave up as we killed him once again. I also then summoned the Rift Herald and so we were able to get another tower. And then in the 23rd minute a fight broke out. I one shot the misfortune. The Ash Arrow hit Zed so I went for him as I picked up a double kill. And is this going to be a triple kill? No, Ash picked up that one. Can I win my first ever Platinum Pro? game maybe not I died for the third time this game and then moments later Molzahar went down I went in with the 1v4 but it was a bad idea so I had to flash away and all of a sudden this game was getting harder and harder as the enemy team also picked up Baron 
Now in the 31st minute, the enemy team were pushing down the mid lane with their Baron buff, but Malzaha managed to catch out the Tariq. I went in to pick up the kill, and now the big team fight had broken out. Jax was taking a lot of damage. I cleaned him up for a double kill. Looking for the triple kill. I get the triple kill. As we then use that to push down to get the middle in Hib. Then in the 34th minute, Nami got a two-man bubble. I flashed in. We took down the Misfortune. We also took down the Tarek. Jax jumped in. He has his Guardian Angel. We were doing a lot of damage. We took down Jax. And now Maokai. And then Zed. And then Jax again as we picked up the ace and this led to us picking up the win i won my first game in my platinum promos let's go into the third game of the promos and i was up against a darius i was very much winning the early trades however darius hit level six before me so he decided to all in me but i managed to dodge his q which was the key i also had ignite so i won the 1v1 duel about two minutes later this time i was getting hit by his q's and i was taking a lot of damage so i had to use my ultimate to get away but i forgot that he has ghost instead of flash so he tried to kill me with his ultimate but he hit me with his q and then in the 10th minute i knew the enemy red buff was up and hello jarvan was doing it so that was a free kill took him down and also a free red buff seconds later however darius was looking to find me but kane was here to help me out and so it was a 2v1 but darius does do a lot of damage he tried to kill me but it was not enough. And then in the 12th minute, I got myself hooked in. But I managed to dodge his Q with my E. I was going to miss a huge minion wave. Darius thought he could kill me. But I managed to win. I made sure I flashed his Q. Not sure if I needed to. But I was just being sure. And then in the 16th minute, I was looking to roam down to the bot lane. The enemy bot lane was doing very well. They took down Kane. I managed to kill the Sona. But I couldn't get anything else. And then in the 17th minute, we were getting chased down. We had to run away because we were so, so low. Virus flashed away. I jumped out of Jarvan's ultimate and we managed to burst him down. I also managed to turn it around. I flashed for no reason, but I got a double kill. And then have a look at this brilliant ward. Can you see it? Yes, you can. As Darius tried to ult me, but I jumped away as we managed to get the ace. That was a big turning point for us as a team because now I was super fed. The small Zaha was always out of position as I looked to kill him, but I missed my W and so it was a one for one. Fast forward to the 24th minute, a few of my teammates got caught out, so the enemy team were looking to do Baron. I managed to one-shot the Tristana, but I had to run away. Seconds later, the enemy team did get the Baron. Oh boy. Brand got caught out again and now there was a big fight in the bot lane and looks like we were losing pretty hard but we managed to kill the Tristana. I was trying to run away but it was not going to happen so I took down one before I died. The game was now a bit of a clown fiesta as Kane went down but I managed to make it a one for one. Finally, my team managed to pick up a few kills as I then cleaned up the Tristana and she also flashed. This led to us getting the tower. I killed the Malza and so we also got the Inhib. We were now looking to get the Baron. I managed to one-shot the Tristana but she had GA. We got the Baron but unfortunately Kane got caught out and so did the Brand. Now that we had the Baron buff, I was looking to split push in the bot lane, but I saw Malzahar was doing the blue buff. He altered me, but it doesn't do as much damage now because I have the Hex Trinker. And with that kill and the Baron buff, we were able to push into the enemy base, pick up a few kills and look to end the game. Malzahar had spawned again, but it was not enough. He couldn't defend as we won the game. Woohoo! Can you believe it? I am now one win away from making it to platinum and escaping from gold. Can I do it? 
Find out in the next episode of Escape from Gold. I'm just kidding, I'll play the game now. This potentially could be the final game and I'm up against an Echo Top. Things got off to a pretty decent start as I hit level 2 first and I was zoning off the Echo and also got off a decent trade. A few seconds later, I flashed for the kill but I wasn't able to get it. Echo then teleported back to lane and he thought he had me in the 5th minute but because of Ignite and my passive, I picked up the kill. Things were going pretty well. Echo, as you can see, was two levels behind, only level five. I then got ganked, but luckily for me, I had flash and I was able to get the kill. Echo was now level six, so he was much harder to kill, but Amumu came to help me. Echo used his ultimate and Amumu landed the bandage toss as we killed the Echo again. We then looked to get first Blood Tower, but Lux was here to stop us, but Amumu landed the bandage toss once again, and we also took down Lux. I then decided to give my mid laner some help as she went for the tower dive, so I helped her as I picked up my fourth kill of the game. Things were going fantastic for me so far this game, but I was unfortunately backing on a ward, so Echo stopped me from backing, and then seconds later flashed to kill me. I did have flash, but it did not save me. The bot lane managed to get their tower, so they rotated towards the top lane, and so I moved to the mid lane and managed to kill the Lux. Things were going fantastic so far as the enemy team did not have a tower yet, but Virus got himself caught out. I tried to kill the vein, but I got exhausted and just ran away instead. And then all of a sudden, things were going horribly wrong as the enemy team picked up three kills. And then Amumu flashed in, but missed his bandage toss. And now it looks like he is also going to go down. I decided to flash to kill the vein. It looked very awkward. Amumu did die, and now I was trying to escape. It wasn't going to happen, though. So I quickly tried to burst down the echo. But I couldn't do it. Things were going from bad to worse as Karma died and so did the virus and eventually the Diana as well. That was super tilting but we realized the enemy team had no vision of the Baron so we looked to burst it down in the 25th minute and we managed to take it. And as soon as we got the Baron, Amumu with the flash bandage toss once again and he lands it. Lux was now caught out the Amumu ultimate as well. We killed the Lux and then I jumped in to take down Echo as well. From this we were looking to get the Inhib Tower but the enemy team were desperate to defend it as Jarvan went down but he also managed to kill the Karma. I was looking for this vein. Could I get the vein? I did get the vein and we also got the Rakan for the ace. That led to us getting the mid lane inhibitor. I am about to carry myself into platinum as I saw a lonely vein and I looked to kill the vein but out of nowhere Rakan appeared and I lost my GA. I needed some help. Maybe this is not my time. Fast forward to the 30th minute into the game. The enemy team actually has more kills, but we've got more objectives, more towers, as we look to kill the Jarvan. But unfortunately, the whole enemy team turned up. Lux picked up a double kill. Oh no. Oh no. We got aced. This game looks like it's going to be very hard to win as there was a big fight around the Baron buff. Amumu got a pretty decent ultimate. I was only looking for one target and that was the Vayne who I managed to kill. And I lost my Guardian Angel but my team was actually doing pretty well as we got four kills. Echo was the last man standing. He used the Zonyas and we eventually killed him for the ace. And I was going for one thing only. And that was the mid lane inhib. Now in the 36th minute the Baron buff was still up. So another big fight erupted around the Baron buff. Once again I was only going for one person. And that was the Vayne. I went down but I did kill the Rakan. Vayne also went down. Echo got a double kill. We couldn't get anything from that fight. But when I respawned we looked to do the Baron. 
and we actually managed to get it. But then with Baron Buff, Amumu went in 1v5. Hmm. With Amumu dead, the enemy team looked to get Alder Dragon. Echo flashed onto the Karma, but as soon as I saw Vayne, I flashed onto her, did a lot of damage, Virus picked up the kill, and then we also killed the Rakan. And Diana managed to 1v1 the Jarvan. Without Amumu, we managed to pick up four kills, and now with Baron Buff, we were looking to end the game. Is this the moment? Is this the moment Mickey C, aka the Low Hounds, makes it to platinum for the first time Congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation.